We are in Server 2016. I'm going to show you how to edit the mouse and all the different buttons and options. Let's go to the Start menu and choose the Control Panel. From here, we're going to click on Mouse. And we'll go ahead and minimize that. And we'll see some of the different options. One of the first ones is to switch the primary and secondary buttons, depending if you want to left or right click and have those switched around. So if I check that box, then suddenly my right click is now my left click. And I'll actually have to right click to uncheck it without even applying. The rest of the settings, however, you will have to click apply to get them to go. Double click speed is how fast or how slow it takes you to double click in order to, op in order to open something. Now, some people might want to have it slower so they don't have to click quite as fast and others want to have it super fast. So let's go with slow, for instance, and click apply. Now, even if I have a separation between the clicks, then it's going to open even though I do it slowly. However, if I do it fast and click apply and I try to do that same slow open, nothing happens. Now I have to really click fast to get it to go. Let's go ahead and put it back in the middle. And click lock. Go ahead and apply that and we can see the settings. We can either choose long or short as far as how long you hold down your mouse on an icon before you can just drag it without holding the mouse down. So I'm going to hold it down for a couple seconds, let go, and now I can still move this from one side of the page to the other. Now if I only click for a short amount of time, it doesn't work. I actually have to hold it down for about two seconds, let go, and now I can click and drag. Let's go ahead and turn that off, because I don't find that particularly useful. And now let's take a look at the different pointer options. So if we scroll through the different options, you can see they go from large to small, from dark to light, and you just pick the one that works the best for you. And you can see the shadow here on my pointer. If I uncheck that and hit apply, then the shadow goes away. So let's go ahead and recheck it and apply, and now the shadow is back. It's a little bit harder to see on the, the white one, so let's go ahead and choose one of the other ones. There we go. Click Apply. And now you can see the shadow a little better. So you can turn that on and off with this Pointer Shadow button. If you click on Pointer Options, you can choose a pointer speed as far as how fast it goes across the screen. If you have it set too high, it might be really difficult to select something because moving the mouse just a little bit will cause it to jump all the way across the screen. So usually the middle is about where most people like it. If you're an artist, a lot of people like to move it to the slow side because uh, then you can do more detailed work. You can also choose to enhance the, po the pointer precision as far as where the pointer goes. And again, very useful for people who are artists or for people who may have difficulty controlling the mouse. We can automatically move the pointer to the default button in a dialog box. So let me show you that. We'll just check the box, click apply. And if we open up our file explorer and right click on our C drive and go to properties, watch the mouse jump right to the OK button. And there it is, it's right on OK. If we uncheck that, click Apply, we right click and go to Properties, it doesn't move to the OK button. So I'm going to leave that unchecked because I don't find that useful, but you might want to. You can also choose to display pointer trails, but unfortunately it doesn't seem to be working in this version of 2016 because normally you would see a bunch of trails going back and forth. And it could be because I'm on a remote desktop session, but it does help you trail the mouse in case you have a, a hard time seeing the, uh, the mouse cursor. You can also check to hide the pointer while typing, which it is by default. So when you go to type, for instance, let's go ahead and open up Notepad. So when I go to type, you can see the cursor just disappears. And it comes back when I wiggle the mouse. So if we uncheck that, then it won't disappear. And we can show the pointer location when we hit the control key as well, in case you lost where the pointer is. And we'll go ahead and click OK. So that's the customizations for the mouse in Windows Server 2016.